Hello, I'm Vic Adams. I'm president and CEO at Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College. And uh, I'm here today to, to talk to uh, our students and uh, future students, potential students, and just members of our community and parents there that, that uh, basically on, on behalf of, of Southeast and our Southeast family here, you know, we want to reassure you that we're taking steps uh, to, in, to ensure your safety and minimize as much as we can the risk of getting COVID while on one of our campuses. A little bit about what we've done. If you come to campus, you'll notice that we have specific uh, things marked off, specific paths marked off for you to get in to see people in admissions or financial aid. We've limited access to our buildings through, uh, you know, through one entrance or maybe two entrances into a building. And we're making sure that uh, you are social distancing and that you have ample space around you when you come on campus to visit one of our either advisors or admissions officers or, or anybody in student affairs or financial aid or business office, wherever you need to. So what we've also done for our fall semester is we've greatly reduced the number of students that will be allowed in each individual classroom during our face-to-face -face and hybrid classes. And I'll talk a little bit about those just in a few minutes. But basically our maintenance staff has gone in, we've measured out the rooms, and in order for everybody to maintain that six foot of social distancing bubble around you, we've removed chairs and desk in there so that we, uh, we can have just the number of students in there that will still allow for social distancing. Now I know in some of our back to school and our fourth uh, phase of our reopening plan that's listed out there on our website, has been listed on our Facebook page, there is some confusion about mask and social distancing. What I want to talk with you about a little bit today is that mask and social distancing are both, they're not an either or. So there was some language in our, some of our uh, information that we put out that came from our system office and CPE that if you could social distance you didn't have to wear a mask. Uh, that was that was information that has since changed. There'll be new directives sent out uh, today. Some of them already been out. Some of them will be sent out a little bit later tomorrow and some of our publications will continue to be updated. But basically it's mask and social distancing. It's not either or. So while you're on campus here, we understand that masks are difficult at times to wear. We understand some of you may have medical issues that would prevent you from wearing a mask and we certainly will work with you and, and honor that and make sure because we don't want to do anything that would, uh, that would cause anybody any harm. So we are going to be a mask facility and social distance to ensure your safety and then safety of other students, our faculty, and our staff here on campus. We're following the orders of the governor, and as those orders change, we will change. So be prepared uh, to do that. When we talk about your education, we feel like that you know, we've got you covered. Uh, when we look at uh, our enrollments now, they, they are down just a little bit, and seems like our, our more traditional student in the 18 to 24 year old age is where we're down the most. Now we understand some of you in that age group are high school dual credit students, which will begin to register this week and next week and all the way up until uh, the 17th of August, when classes will start, the 17th of August at this time, okay? But we understand that that 18 to 24 year old, you're concerned about childcare, 
you're concerned about maybe an er elderly uh, family member that you have to you have to take care of, and you're also just concerned about uh, for your own health and safety about uh, this pandemic and the COVID virus, and that's all understandable. So what we've done with our schedule is we've tried to be really diverse in our scheduling. So we will be offering a full spectrum of classes, such as our online classes, where you won't have to come to campus at all. You can register virtually through a, a, a phone call, and we'll give you some updated numbers at the end of this uh, video. But you can take online classes, you can stay healthy at home, provide child care for your, uh, for your family, take care of maybe elderly family or something of that nature by taking all online classes. And those are primarily our gen ed classes um, and transfer courses. We also have offered a full spectrum of hybrid classes. So most of all of our face-to-face -face have now been converted to hybrid. So half the class is going to be online and then half the class would be in person. So we have some five-week options. We have some 10-week um, and 12-week and 8-week options for you to uh, come to class. So if you take a, um, some uh, hybrid classes, you could literally be on campus maybe one day, maybe two days a week. So you would be able to follow along with what many of the local school districts are doing with a two-day in-person and three-day virtual. And therefore, you know, you can sort of make your schedule um, help you to be able to take care of your children by following that. So we've done that. And of course, we have face-to-face uh, -face classes that we still have. But you can schedule those in many times where you're just here maybe two days a week or three days. Again, we're going to social distance. We're going to wear our mask. We're going to make sure that, that we're practicing uh, all of the uh, uh, directives that we've been given through the governor's office, through a council on post-secondary education, through our system office, and making sure that all of us are, are healthy here at Southeast. So no matter what your concerns are about classes, we want to try to help you. No matter what your personal situation is, we want to try to help you. So we think that we have a way to help you. We have a way to get you started or continue your educational path and your college degree, your college education, and reach your career goals. So we ask you to stop by to either call or email a Southeast advisor today and get registered. Notice we said earlier, I said that we've got some, you know, smaller class sizes here, so classes can fill up relatively quickly. To get up in touch with one of our advisors, we've added some additional uh, part-time people to our press uh, our, our call center, so when you call the campus, we take its employees and reassign them here uh, to be able to take care of switchboard. But you can call the main college numbers, 606-589-2145 or 606-242. 2145. Once the recording comes on, if you'll press zero, you will get the operator. So then the operator can direct your call and get you to the right people that you need or can get your message to the right people that will return your call and help you uh, to register for classes. We understand we had some issues with an automated system over the last few weeks that may have prevented some of you from getting in contact with a person here on campus. We hope we've got that issue resolved where you will be able to get a hold of somebody now. Also, I invite you, if you have a smartphone, 
uh, either iOS or whatever platform you have, the KCTC app uh, that you can get to download to your phone has a bulletin board wall on it, a student wall where you can go in and ask questions and we have staff that monitor that, uh, that app daily and give answers to questions that are posed on that app. Many times within a very few minutes, they will answer your question that you have. So if you want to try the app, please download it and hopefully that will help you. Also, our Southeast website has a lot of information on there that gives you direct line numbers to employees and gets you ways that you can register, you can get on virtually and look at, at uh, grades from past semesters, you can look at your schedule, you can, you can look at the fall class schedule and try to make some plans. Uh, we have advisor numbers there and, and just a, a vast information to help you get registered here at Southeast. We are at Southeast, the community's college. We want to make sure that, that you know that we have you covered with your educational needs. Like I say, we've got a broad range of class uh, options for you, where if you can't come to class every day, uh, or you can't come to class at all during the week, you can take online. So we've got some options for you, depending on your program and depending upon uh, your career goal. But we've got you covered and we want you to become a part of Southeast. So call us today and we wanna help you. So thank you very much and uh, please stay safe and st please stay healthy and uh, wear your mask.